off and talk about the uh, game itself. Basically, you play as Bigfoot, this blue truck here. You race against a bunch of goofy opponent trucks with weird names like Terminator, Growler, and Charger, and other really awful generic names. These little things on the side of the road are actually money bags that you pick up along the way. There's your flag guy. Um, right there, this is your bar that shows how much damage you take. This is your uh, money amount, how much money you have to upgrade your truck in between uh, side-scrolling races. That's your nitro counter, and I'll get to that in a minute, and that displays the item you have in your possession to press B and E. You play Dixie if you have nothing in your inventory. I got my silver power saw, and it's a shot of the things. Nitrous, the dollar sign for money. Anything that looks like a like spring is a, will make your truck jump. This wrench is fixing health, and it's like metal plates that are protecting your saw blades. the end of the uh, race, crush cars, whatever it takes. That's how I get a lot of money and a lot of nitros in this game. It's taken me quite a few takes to get this down without getting stuck or anything to change it. Here's where you start to end up towards the end of the NFC, because now I'm starting to use my nitros. And ah, kill him. <laughs> awesome. He still has five nitros left. He doesn't know much. I don't worry about points until much later in the game. Since you can upgrade your truck, so you can spray it in the first You have uh, engines right here. The lower the amount, the slower your engine goes. And that's what's it. utterly useless in this game. I mean, there's no real point in having a speedometer at a monster truck rally. A monster truck tops out at maybe, like, what, 70 miles an hour? I mean, my, my, the freaking truck I drive to work and back goes faster than that. It tops out around, like, 110. With a monster truck moving all that weight, you know, and speed isn't really a big part. Fuel, right here, does not play a huge... does not play a huge role in, uh the game whatsoever, except for in the later events where you have longer tracks, and then you have to run over little fuel bars that look kind of like a thinner version of the finish line, 
to replenish your fuel and you have to make them by a certain point. However, it also goes down faster the more you tax your engine. But in this game, most of the time you're going to want to be at maximum RPM. There's your temperature gauge. This pretty much climbs continually up as you're in the uh, red line zone of the tachometer here. And the tachometer goes, your red line zone are those little white pixels right along there. And once you hit that, the temperature gauge starts going up. And as your temp gauge goes up as you're up there, you can easily save yourself by hitting the A button and shifting gears. The AI truck never shifts gears. It's, it's absolutely ludicrous. He, he has no strategy at all except for to run full out and keep burning his engines out until he runs out or until he wins. <laughs> and right there, that little S blinks when your uh, nitrous oxygen is really see the AD. control pad. A classic. Anyway, I'm here to show you about controller movement in Bigfoot. Basically, how I actually race this damn thing using a standard control pad, or as I used for years beforehand, NES joyst Advantage joystick. Or actually, I had a Quick Shot Pro for a little while. It was this gray thing, kind of cheesy looking. And we'll start with the control pad. Control pad, I'd, for most of the driving rounds, standard way, but when I get to the side scroller rounds, I usually switch over to this kind of almost guitar player like stance. Yep, my hobbies actually do cross over somewhat. Um, left hand, I usually have my thumb over one side, of the, one side of the pad, right hand, index finger over the other side, the right side of the pad. It also leaves uh, this finger free to do select and start if I need to. Mainly just hangs over start in case I need to pause and go answer any stupid telemarketer calls or whatever the hell else decides to bother me. There are a few things I actually drop the phone for, <laughs> or actually drop the video games or guitar for. And those things are things that you can all guess. <laughs> anyway, got start. And then I've got uh, my B button right here. This is what works nitrous, and this is what shifts. Generally, I put my finger on this before the round, and then I uh, take off of it whenever I do, because it really does automatically kind of do stuff. I try to pump it a little bit up before the rounds. But anyway, the whole thing is, is that it's all a system where I'm going back and forth like that. I don't know if you can see that really well. And while I'm doing that, I'll hit this button to do nitro, and if I need to shift, I just hit hit the other button with my pinky. It's almost kind of like playing guitar, really. Uh, you have to build coordination to do it like that. The manual said you're supposed to do it this way. You know, it's supposed to do it that way. But they left out something. If you hold the controller like that for a button mash or a game like this one, how in the hell is one supposed to, you know... How in the hell is one supposed to, if you're doing it like this, how in the hell is one supposed to freaking shift gears or use the nitrous? And yeah, I'm not much of a talker, I'll tell you, tell you right now. That's why I stutter a little bit. Plus, I'm not always comfortable on camera, but I'm trying to get used to it this year, so. But yeah, that's pretty much how I deal with that. Then you got the joystick. Which is easy. I mean, it's just like move this forward and back, and uh, mash those two, mash this button for nitrous and that button to shift. So I'll be like this the whole time. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice part about the NES Advantage is you have these two little turbo buttons on top. The uh, turbo button, you just hit it, and then you use a little pot to change your uh, nitro deployment width. Or if you really want to screw things up. Use this one for the shifter <laughs> and burn up every transmission you have. <laughs>